what's good youtube welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new my name is Shade, aka natural day if you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button you got drawn to my channel for a reason so now that you are here why don't you just stay today i'm gonna be telling you guys tips about how to grow healthy natural hair so i get this question a lot how did you grow your hair so fast i cut my hair in 2018 but i was natural before then i'll probably make a video on my natural hair journey just so that you guys can see the struggles that i've gone through as well because sis you are not alone i'm telling you it is a struggle you will struggle just stay with me i'm telling you your hair it's a relationship and right now, y'all just in a talking stage, you feel me? This is if you are transitioning. Y'all trying to get to know one another, trying to fill each other out. But eventually, that love is going to grow. And I'm telling you, the relationship is going to flourish. So stick with me, take down these tips, and let's get to it. Tip number one, stay away from heat as much as you possibly can. Now that doesn't mean just go cold turkey without straightening your hair. Definitely don't put any relaxers in your hair if you're still doing that. Just definitely try to stay away from heat as much as you possibly can. That means straighten your hair less. If you straighten your hair once every three months, probably cut it back to like once every six months, you know? The more that you stay away from heat, the quicker your natural hair is going to flourish, your curls is going to become more defined, and they will just start to pop. The more that you straighten your natural hair, the more that you are ruining the protein that is within your hair. So it is stripping your hair of that protein, it's stripping your curls, and it's just damaging your hair overall. So stay away from heat. Don't do it. I haven't straightened my hair in almost two years now. This September, it'll be two years. Even then, I will probably only straighten my hair once a year. So around September, which is my birthday month. Go Virgo, go Virgo. <laughs> but other than that, I really wouldn't straighten my hair. Yes, sometimes I do blow dry my hair. Say for instance, I want like a stretched out style or I'm getting a trim or something of that nature. I will blow dry my hair every once in a while. But even then, I typically do it on low heat it just depends on what I'm going for. If you can stay away from heat as much as you possibly can, do it. Tip number two is going to be protective styles. Try to implement protective styles as much as you can into your natural hair journey because it helps grow your hair tremendously. So when I started to transition from, you know, the straight hair life into natural hair, which was completely like foreign territory to me, uh, I just did a lot of protective styles. Now, protective styles can be braids, it can be twists, and I'm talking about like sing singlenese, singly, you know what I'm talking about, twists. <laughs> um, it can be full lock, band two knots. There's so many different types of styles that you can do for your hair, and that's what I love about being natural. The versatility protective styles are really good for your hair because they're low maintenance you know you're not constantly in your head stressing out your scalp and all of that so protective styles really help your hair to grow it helps to keep your hands out of it because sometimes you just like need to leave your hair alone you know let it do its thing it's gonna grow you know weaves are fine wigs are fine those are protective styles also because it's keeping your hair in a style that doesn't require you to constantly be in the whole point of protective styles is to protect your hair it protects your ends it prevents the manipulation that is that's the key you don't want to manipulate your hair a whole lot because you're not allowing it to flourish, not allowing it to do what it's supposed to do, which is grow. Protective styles definitely encourage hair growth and they can save you time instead of having to constantly do your hair. So it's really beneficial. I love protective styles. I did everything under the sun. They're beautiful, you guys, you know? Try it out. Uh, trust me, you're gonna love it. And then you, some of you guys probably do this stuff anyway, and you don't realize that it's actually a protective style. It's protecting your hair. But you take them out, you put some more back in. You don't allow your hair to breathe. Or you do it, and you take it out, and you straighten your hair. Just, guys, be mindful. Your hair needs love. It needs protection. It needs compassion. Treat your hair right, it's gonna treat you right. 
The third tip is going to be to protect your hair. Yes, this kind of ties in this tip number two, but by that I mean wearing a bonnet when you go to sleep, wearing a scarf when you go to sleep. Anytime you're laying down, relaxing on the couch or something like that, put something on your head. You know, they have satin pillowcases that you can put on your bed if you are one of those people that are just too lazy to wrap your hair every night. And that way your hair is still protected. These things protect your ends, which is the oldest part of your hair so it's the easiest to break it's the most fragile part of your hair so you definitely need to protect your ends and that's why it's good to wear a bonnet when you go to sleep it's good to wrap your hair in a scarf it keeps that moisture in your hair those oils and all that good stuff because that's what is also needed to keep your hair growing protect your hair tip number four is gonna be to not just use any type of products like i think i had that problem when um i was younger i used to just use anything and i didn't really look at the ingredients i still don't really look at the ingredients too too much or i didn't really like pay attention to what the type of products were like if they work for natural hair or if they work for kinky coily hair or anything like that i just would just use products so you really need to focus on products that work for your hair find products that work for you products I typically use for my hair and this is with like every wash day every hairstyle I do I always use a shampoo I use a conditioner I will go in with a leave-in conditioner a cream or hair butter and some oil so five main products that I always use for my hairstyles that help my hair stay moisturized it shines it bounces defines all that good stuff so find products that work good for you one thing that i will say is and this goes into tip number five do research so you can find a youtuber that has hair similar to your own look up the different type of hair types because there there are different type of hair types if you did not know that once you do that and figure out what type of hair that you actually have it'll help you figure out what you need like your hair porosity how dense is your hair like how does it retain water so I have low porosity hair. My hair does not retain water. Water just sits on top of my head. Do your research. There are plenty, plenty of YouTubers on here that have, or that do natural hair videos that you can watch. You can see what type of products work for their hair and see if it works for yours, but don't just go off of what they use. You still need to figure out what type of products work for your hair because you are a completely different person than the person that you are looking at on the screen. You are different from me and I am different from you. So what works for me may not work for you. And that is perfectly okay but you will find something that does just have faith guys be positive for sure that is gonna lead into tip number six positivity you got to stay positive when you're trying to grow your hair natural if you're constantly like oh i'm gonna be a chicken head all my life oh i'm never gonna grow hair like you uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. then girl you're not it's not gonna work for you you got to be positive you got to speak life into your hair like how else do you expect it to just <laughs> You got that type of attitude, I'm gonna feed you that same type of energy. No, speak life into your hair. Have positivity. And it's gonna happen for you, I promise. Trust me. Oof. When I do this uh, hair journey video, y'all are gonna see how bad my hair was before I went natural. And no, I didn't do a big chop and just start off from fresh. I literally trained my hair back to healthy. So that's what makes me proud in being a, nat a naturalista. Stay positive because it is going to be one heck of a journey. You are going to get frustrated and all of that. Yeah, love the hair that you're in. Love the skin that you're in. Know that this is what naturally grows out of your head. And you don't have to super like crazy manipulate it or, you know, make it something that it's not because your hair is beautiful. You have to realize that. Just take that piece of advice and run with it. I'm serious. You will love your natural hair once you start to get to know what it needs and how to take care of it because girl i did not know how to do my hair period before i went natural all i used to do was straighten and crinkle my hair that's it damaging the hell out of it but look at me now y'all and this is not to glow trust me that's why i'm making this video so i can give you guys tips on things that i did to grow my hair naturally and healthily sister helping sister you feel me uh the next tip is gonna be to be gentle with your hair so i know everybody has had an experience when you have somebody in your hair or even yourself and you are trying to get them naps out your hair and you are just like trying to break that neck stop stop you hurting it you are are you trying to like are you trying to get a bad rip with your head are you trying to you trying to get it to hate you stop 
be gentle be gentle love your hair that's what i'm saying give it some compassion and they will give it back okay i love to finger detangle my hair and for some people that's not going to be something that you can start off with your hair may not be at to a point where you can simply just finger it detangle and even for me when it comes to finger detangling i use a lot of product to get that done because i have super kinky coily hair in some areas and so to finger detangle i do need a lot of product to make sure i get that slip and i can you know slide my fingers through if you don't want a finger detangle you can always use a wide tooth comb so those help as well just definitely be gentle make sure you are starting from the ends and working your way up to the root don't start up here and stress your freaking strands out because that's just how you're going to get so much damage that you don't need you want your hair to grow you don't want it to fall out okay be gentle besides a wide tooth comb you can always use a denman brush those are really good they help to find your hair they help to tangle but key the key point is be gentle and always start from the end and work your way up okay do it next is going to be to deep condition sis now when i first went natural i was like deep condition <laughs> that's an extra step i don't want added to my hair routine my wash day is already as long as it is it takes forever but let me tell you deep conditioning is actually very very beneficial to growing healthy hair because it helps add moisture in it that you just need now some people deep condition once a week some people do it every other week as often as you can do it deep condition your hair um, it makes your hair softer it adds that extra shine that extra moisture that your hair can use so why not and there's plenty of deep conditioners that you can use overnight so that's what i love to do make sure that you start deep conditioning always put on a little a shower cap or something over your head because it heats up your hair which then adds more moisture to your head like <laughs> what? what what i'm feeding y'all this knowledge take it take it take it take it take it all take it all i'm serious y'all them deep conditions they help they help for reals so do it uh next tip and this is kind of important as well trim your ends now i know that there's people that like they want to continue growing their hair and they don't want to trim because they don't want to trim too much off which is fine trim as often as you can it definitely helps your ends and it helps your hair look a lot better i have a video on how to trim your hair see i typically trim my hair every six months in the video i explained that i had not trimmed my hair in a while so i definitely needed that i haven't i don't have a hairstylist where i live so your girl has to do it herself but Trim your ends, it is very beneficial for your hair it's because you're getting those dead ends off, you know? Um, why would you wanna keep those on there and, and have it weigh your hair down? It's dead weight, let it go, let it go. <coughs> Do it. Last tip I'm gonna give you guys is gonna be to not compare yourself to other people. So you're gonna see YouTubers, people on Instagram, whatever social media you are on, you are gonna see people with beautiful Don't expect your twist out to come out exactly how you see it on somebody else's YouTube video. Your hair is completely different from the person you're looking at. Of course, look at people's videos whose hair is similar to your own or with styles that you would like to do yourself, but still don't compare your journey to their journey because they're a completely different person from who you are simple especially when you're first starting to go natural or first starting to trans transition your hair is not going to come out exactly how you think it, it is just by looking at somebody else's video and following their instructions step by step it's just not and if it does girl <laughs> can i talk to you because i wish that, that was me when i first started to transition and go natural but it wasn't i struggled I'm still struggling. <laughs> you might not believe me, but your girl is struggling, y'all. This this dang twist out is too is too uh frizzy. It is not as defined as I want it to be, but y'all, I'm sure that there's gonna be somebody in the comments or somebody that watches this video that think that my hair is bomb, which it is. But that's not the, that's not the point that I'm trying to make. You are not supposed to compare your journey to my journey. And that's just what it is. Do not compare your journey to somebody else's journey. Because at the end of the day, you were just going to end up miserable. You're going to end up hating your natural hair because it's not coming out like old girls. You're going to hate that your hair is, is not easy to manage. Or you can't finger detangle your hair just like somebody else can. And so, 
figure it out. Your hair is your hair. You got to learn your hair for yourself. Um, especially if you want to go natural. You can't, especially now that it's quarantine, you can't be all up in the hair salons being like, girl, yes, I want this perfect wash and go with the, with the whoop. <laughs> no, figure it out. Do it yourself. You got this though, okay? This is coming from somebody that could only straighten their hair or crinkle it. And that's all that I did up until senior year of high school. Or till senior year of high school. After I graduated is when I went natural. Now I'm doing my own hair trims. I'm doing all my styles. I've been trying to do individuals for myself, which is super hard for me because I am one of them black girls that just don't know how to braid their hair. <laughs> Pray for me. Pray for me, please. I'm learning though, because I'm watching them YouTube videos and I'm learning. I'm not taking it personal that my styles don't come out the same way that I'm looking at it. But it's a learning process. And that's one thing that you do have to know, know too. It's a process. That's why it's called a journey, okay? You're not going to get to where you're trying to get on, on the first try, on that first road. It's a journey. It's a long, beautiful road to health. And that is the goal. Health. These tips also help with growing your hair longer. The main idea for natural hair is healthy hair. When your hair is healthy, it looks beautiful. People will comment on your hair being beautiful because it is healthy. It doesn't matter what length it is. It doesn't matter what color it is. None of that. Health is key. With that being said, those are my tips to growing healthy, natural hair. I want y'all to be inspired. I want you to be inspired, okay? You got this. I promise you. You got it, sweetie. You got it. Hit that thumbs up for me, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. And that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video.